John here guys and today we're talking about the new Omway Commander V1S. V1S? What is that? I haven't really heard of this product much before but I got it sent to me for review and that's perfect because I still have a pair of the original Amway Commanders, so we'll be able to compare and contrast and note all of the differences and similarities. First, right off the bat, you can notice that this thing has a really shiny um, finish. It does appear to be the exact same mold, um, but it's very black and shiny, like a piano black color. This would go perfectly if you were a sneakerhead rocking the Jordan Space Jam was with the black patent leather on the front. It would go perfectly if you were going to a Halloween FPV event and you were dressed up like Catwoman from Batman Returns. Meow. Uh, would go perfectly um, if you were going as Trinity from The Matrix. <laughs> With that sort of shiny black leather thing. Come to think of it, that was very similar to Catwoman. Uh, <laughs> or, or if you just like shiny black uh, material on your face. Well, bring out the gimp. It's now... This uh, seamless design that Amway has repeated is actually very, very good for blocking light leaks because there's no seams for the module. It has the internal module. Um, now the material itself, I would think that this would be a fingerprint magnet and you can see some fingerprints on there, but it's not as uh, problematic as you would think. Uh, it, that's something that would kind of annoy me, but I don't really, you can see them if you really look at the right angle, but it's not super terrible. It's not like your phone screen. Um, now, I really actually like the sort of a soft matte plastic of the original Amway. If anyone ever owned um, the Samsung Blackjack smartphone prior to the initial iPhone release, that had sort of a, a firm but softer type plastic that reminds me of this. Uh, it's very scuff and scratch resistant on this original pair. So that is kind of gone, but it actually feels better than I would think for how it looks. Uh, because the case design is the same, everything is in the same exact position pretty much. But one notable enhancement for the V1S is that they have increased the IPD distance. So if you had any problems getting your eye spacing right uh, on the original Amways, this addresses that uh, with an upgrade. It also has an upgrade to the receiver inside. And, uh, you know, honestly, the original Amway receiver is quite good, so it's welcome, but really not that necessary. So those are the two main things that you get for, uh, for the rest of the things. It's the same exact 30 do, 32 degree field of view screen setup. Um, it is the exact same DVR button placement, antenna placement. Uh, it comes with the same two antennas and the awesome Amway power cable that allows you to plug in any 2 to 4S LiPo and power your goggles. I like that this comes with this. A lot of us Fat Shark guys buy these types of cables to be able to power our Fat Sharks off of, off of a LiPo, but it's nice that these come with it. It also comes with your Amway stickers and stuff like that, your manual. Now, one key notable difference is the case. Here is the original Amway case. Here is the new case. This is really closer to the size of a standard Fat Shark um, case. It's actually a little bit smaller. This is much bigger. So this is actually a little bit nicer. I like the dual color. It also has some little straps in here to retain your goggles. And it comes with an extra face foam. These Amway Commander goggles, the face foams last depending on how hot 
um, your climate is. They may last three to six months. Um, for me, it was closer to three. So it's nice that they already include a spare in there for you because you're gonna need to replace it. And of course, if you're not familiar with the Omways, those spare face foams just go in and out with some Velcro. They're just Velcroed on, so they're really super easy to replace in seconds. Um, I will know, like I said, it comes with the same two antennas that come with the original Omways. Now, this Omni Cloverleaf antenna is quite good, but the patch antenna, thumbs down, guys. You're gonna wanna upgrade that. My suggestion is that you get uh, one of these real ACC triple feed patches. I like the mini version. That just screws on. It allows you to get a really good directional feed. It also allows you to switch from both left hand to right hand circular polarized and it's only gonna cost you about 10 bucks. So I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So this is really an incremental update to the Omway Commanders. They're basically phasing out selling this old one, um, but if you want a goggle that's, I've seen them for about $280 to $300. And Fat Shark doesn't really have many options in that price range. Um, you know, you can still get like a Dom V3 if you look hard for that price, but then you're gonna need the module. Module is internal and perfectly ready to get started. These are great for people getting started. These are great for people that want their first um, Fat Shark style. Um, goggles uh, without having to dive in and spend $700 for a rapid fire HDO setup. Uh, so if you have the original Omway Commander, do you need to upgrade? No, you don't. You, you, I mean, there's really not a ton of differences unless you have trouble with your eye spacing. Um, but if you don't have one and you're looking for a goggle, um, I would say the used market pricing for the Omway V1 is about 220 to 250. You know, as long as it has the case and the antennas and the cable. So for 30 to 50 dollars more, you can get a brand new set. And for people that like to buy things brand new, this is a great option. Um, I've tried these out. They look exactly the same as the original Omways. Comes with the same head strap with the three position thing. I do like that the top one is a little easier to get off. Um, the top strap on the originals did not come off, I don't believe. This one actually does. So you can run it like a fat shark without this top strap by just undoing this Velcro right here. The DVRs on here are plenty sufficient. On the original pair of Omways that I had, the DVR wasn't that great. These seem to work fine. Um, UAV Futures would always DVR from his on ways, which were good. Maybe mine were just a little noisier. It could have been my old antenna setup back then. So yeah, another great cheap set of goggles. There's no fat sharks you can get for 280 or 300 bucks. Now the elephant in the room is going to be the new Fat Shark Attitude V5 that just released. I actually had finished recording the review of this Omway V1S when that product dropped. So I held the release of it so I could kind of take in some of the details and make some opinions on what the recommendation is. Now, the Attitude series has always been kind of a budget offering from Fat Shark. But it really, a lot of times, scrimps on some of the features that you really need. And one of the biggest ways that it offers difficulty to people is that the case size is different from the Dominator series. Because of that smaller case size, it makes it difficult to be able to get the correct module at times. However, that being said, Rapid Fire has pretty much solved this issue. So it does come with a module. It comes with OLED screens. They're a slightly smaller field of view at 30 degrees versus 32 for these Omways, but the clarity should be a little bit improved. So I actually will go as far as to say that the Fat Shark Attitude V5 is worth the full 300. I would put the value of these Omways closer to about 260, which you should be able to catch on sale. It's up to you whether you wanna spend that little bit um, or not. One note is that the natural progression would be to start with one of these budget models 
eventually move up to the top tier goggle, which whether in the future that's still the HDO, whether it's an HDO version two, whether it's an Orca, and you would also wanna move up to a top tier module, that today being the rapid fire. Now I will say that the rapid fire comes with two different case fronts, one that is compatible with the attitude. So the attitude will power the rapid fire no problem without needing any power modifications. And that module will fit on this attitude casing, but it also comes with a front face plate cover that will work on any of the larger fat sharks like the HDOs if you decide to upgrade in the future. So that upgrade path of attitude V5 to rapid fire module and then much later upgrading your goggles to say the HDOs or whatever the best goggle is out in the future, uh, that's there for you. With the Amways, you're really going for, this is something all-inclusive budget. I don't need to upgrade anything. And then I will dole out all of the cash to do my upgrade in the future and then sell this as a complete package while retaining most of the value. The Amway value for the version one has really settled to around 220 to 240. So you're not looking at losing much if you decide to go with the Amway. So it really just depends on what your upgrade schedule is on which one of these you decide to go with. But I don't feel like you can go with either one and be in the wrong, but I do feel like the Amway is a good option if you can get that price down to closer to $260. Thanks guys.